I'm Rick Dancer. Welcome to Get Real with Rick Dancer. And Kim Stark will be joining us in just a minute. Uh, tonight is Elements Health Club's Healthy Living Show. Um, Elements is one of our sponsors. They have three gyms in Lane County, one in uh, off Pheasant Boulevard in Springfield, one near Oakway, and one at West Eugene, uh, out on West 11. Um, they all have swimming pools, <laughs> lap pools, which I miss. Um, they all have hot tubs, saunas, and jacuzzis, and they have steam rooms. So if you're looking for a place to, to land your butt uh, and get a good workout, that's a great place to go. They are one of our major sponsors. We appreciate them a lot. Also, Chris Dental Family Dentistry, where everyone is welcome. If you're looking to have a crown done, he has quality crown work that he does. Um, uh, so everything from dental hygiene to uh, anything you need done. Uh, Bratlin, Chris Dental, Family Dentistry can do it. And remember, um, there, um, what they care about is your oral health. They want to make sure that you are a healthy person. So um, your politics and everything else about you, none of their business. They don't aren't concerned about it. That's your business. They just want to make sure you are healthy. Our other sponsor is Albert Taylor. Um, Albert Taylor, Endless Possibilities. Uh, they have group homes and assisted living for people with different abilities. Uh, if you're looking for work, uh, trying to change your life a little bit, want something to do that's really different, um, we highly recommend them. You will um, you will never be the same after doing that job. So um, interesting day today. Kathy and I got home from 4th of July. We were over in Livingston with my kid at the rodeo. Came home and we hear this. Kathy hears this in the chimney downstairs in our in our uh, basement. And uh, we call the former owner and he says, you probably have starlings in your in your uh, in your chimney. So we had to open the damper and we got two starlings flying through the house. I had to catch them and release them and everybody's fine and good and done. And so that's a, that's a good thing. Um, so tonight we're talking about allergies because I'm suffering with them here in Montana. You guys are probably suffering with them in Oregon. So we found an expert, an allergist. Uh, in Oregon to talk with Kim about that. We're going to hear a little bit from Sarah on how to kind of get back in the swing of things after you've been on vacation and you need to get back to doing your workout. I needed mine today. And uh, Dr. Bratlin's going to have a few words for us. Albert Taylor's going to have a few words for us. And we're going to take you to Baker City um, just because we can. So let's get this thing started. Who puts up with this? That's what I don't understand. Bring the lion out, bring the, bring the lion. Um, tonight on our show, we're gonna have... Hey guys, don't you think it's kind of fun that you get to comment on the news? There's a cost. Oh yeah, there's a cost. People come after you. Like, I think that's why this is so much fun is because... We'll see you at five. More than a workout. You get results-driven fitness and nutrition help no matter where you're starting in your health journey. You get luxury club benefits like a heated pool, hot tub, sauna, steam room, and wellness centers. You get academy-level group training classes like HIT, boxing, TRX, and barbell strength. And your kids get childcare centered around movement with activity and a purpose. You get three convenient locations with one membership. All the amenities of a luxury health club with the membership prices of a neighborhood gym. Elements Health Clubs, we are more than a workout. And they are more than a workout. So I got somebody on here, Jackson. Allergies are horrible in Southern Oregon. I used to get pollen allergies in the spring, but this year it's horrific. And we are hearing that everywhere. So um, you're not alone. Now tonight, as you guys know, Kim's going to be on in just a second, but I want to remind you of this. We have a question every night. And if you live in the area or near one of our three gyms, um, if the first person that answers this correctly will win a one month 30 day membership. And if you're already a member, you get 30 days for free. If you're not a member, you can go 30 days for free. See if you like it. The question is this, three US presidents who signed the Declaration of Independence have this in common. What is it? Hmm. So that's your question. Let's bring Kim on the show. Hey, Kim. And I don't know about you guys, but I'll tell you what, even in Montana, I am struggling with allergies right now we're a little behind you guys and so the grass pollen is just starting to get kind of crazy here and i'm waking up in the morning and just feeling kind of sick i mean not not you know like i couldn't go to work or, or something but just congested and then kind of down and just dumpy and for me i go exercise and that kind of clears everything up for me um i don't know if that's 
true or if it's in my head. <laughs> but, you know, there's a lot of things in my head, Kim, and you never know um, what they could be. But I feel like sometimes, and I want to, I want you to ask the, the um, Melanie, would you yep. get on here, if that can help, if exercise can help. Um, right. I think it does for me just to, you know, I mean, really intense and I feel like it does. So maybe that's it out. Yes. Mm -hmm. so, I'm curious to know that too. And I also, Rick, wanted to bring on an allergy expert because I never had allergies as a child and they came on later. And I've heard a lot of people that happens in Oregon and maybe elsewhere. So I'm super curious to know how common is that? Is it more common now with like, you know, climate change? What is that related to? What's going on? So I'm kind of curious about that. Kathy has that too. As she got older, as she got older, not that she's older because I can't say that. On no, no, no. Podcast, <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, Kim's laughing because prior to you guys coming on here, my wife came in and said, "Rick, there's something in the chimney of the window, and it's scratching around in there. So we have a bird stuck in our chimney." And <laughs> so, so that's what we're dealing with. You know? Anna, birds in the chimney. <laughs> so Kim, what's the question before you bring Melody on? What's the question? Oh, yeah, let's do a fun fact. So I figured we'd talk a 4th of July question. And now remember, you guys can get 30 days free a whole month at Elements um, if you answer our question correctly. So tonight we're going to ask, what is a fun fact about three presidents who signed the Declaration of Independence? And I kind okay. of gave you a hint when I talked about that it's related to the holiday. So fun fact about three presidents who signed that. Okay, and that if you get that, you'll get a free member. The first person who gets it, and we'll go back and watch this. Yes. The first person who gets it will get a free membership. And if you're already a member, you still get a free membership for the month. That's right. You win win. You can already you can get that 30 month, 30 days paid for. So go ahead right. and guess. So let's bring on our guest. Hi, Melanie. Hi there. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Thank you for joining us. And I know you're super busy today. So we so appreciate this. It's still the season, we say. Mm hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm yeah. So I'm curious about that. So uh, Melanie's with Allard Oregon Allergy Associates. And I know you're in between patients today, so we won't take too much of your time. But some of those questions I get um, and one of them I already was talking to Rick about. I never had these as a kid. My brother suffered horribly from allergies. We are in Oregon. I grew up in Oregon. I'm still here and I now suffer from them. So tell me about that onset allergy. I mean, like, is there a certain age when it hits or how does that happen? Well, allergy comes on based on exposure and um, you can grow into allergies, so to speak. Some people do. And the sheer volume of pollen, especially grass pollen that we get here in the valley is significant and can start to bring allergy symptoms on for people even in adulthood. Mm -hmm. um, interestingly, with the weather pattern changes and such, we are seeing different ways the grass is expressing itself, you could say, with very high pollen counts this past year coming on suddenly. And we've seen some of the highest pollen counts in the, that we've seen in the last 10 years. Wow. Um, yeah. yeah. And now this summer, and I think June was pretty high. Uh, did I hear that right? And then do you know if it's expected to be pretty bad or we kind of pass that peak? We're past the peak now, but it's still very high. Um, a number, I think our pollen count today was 104 for grass pollen, and that's still quite high. Um, mm -hmm. Other parts of the country, to them, they might get a count of 20 or 50, and, mm -hmm. and that's high and causes symptoms for people. Okay. That's interesting because I think a lot of people with all the rain we got in the spring, I think some people equate rain with it keeps the allergies down. That's not necessarily the case though, right? That's not necessarily the case. And we do get an interesting phenomena here in the area with grass pollen. When the pollen counts are high and we're getting the, the pollen starting, rain actually can make these pollen grains fragment and they get very tiny. It's so microscopic. It gets deeper into the lungs and into the eyes. So, excuse me, even people that don't have allergies can actually get symptoms just because of the way the pollen is invading the mucous membranes. Wow, that's amazing. So some of the treatments for that, I know you got, you can talk about um, what you guys see for patients or when we should um, consult someone like you. Well, there's some great over-the-counter medications, eye drops, nasal spray, and of course, antihistamines. But if those aren't enough, then you should see your provider and see an allergist talk about grass pollen tablet. There's a new, a new way to treat grass pollen with desensitization with a grass pollen tablet. There's of course also allergy shots, which are an option as well. And those offer a good long-term preventative way to basically change your allergic response over time and take the allergy away. 
Wow. Okay. So you guys um, started this. I, I mean, not you started it, but you guys, you work there. You're familiar with everybody. Um, tell me what, was there just a huge need and demand for this in, in the Eugene area, Lane County? Um, absolutely. I think just because we are in the Willamette Valley, we are known for farming grass pollen, um, well, grass seed, right, which creates high levels of pollen. And the way the valley traps the pollen in the in the area creates mm -hmm. very high numbers, higher than anywhere else in the country. Wow, so, anywhere in the country. So, Melanie, is it true that Willamette Valley, that the Indians used to call that the Valley of Sickness, that because of, is that true? That's, that is that is true. That's what the story is. But it actually was a wetland here. There were high levels of mosquitoes and malaria. And oh. so it, it was the Valley of Sickness, but not for the pollen levels. They didn't farm grass like we do. So does exercise help? Because, I, and maybe it's because I'm going into an air conditioned gym or something like that. Mm -hmm. I run far less in the summertime than I should, you know what I mean? Because it's like, oh my gosh. So is that some of the tips that people can do is if you are a workout or someone who's outside, mm -hmm. get inside or wash yourself. Um, Absolutely. What are some things you can do? Mm -hmm. Exercise can help if you're exercise, do it indoors, just like you, Rick. And the movement, the blood circulation, the blood flow, that helps clear secretions. You feel a lot better, especially if you take an antihistamine, that'll help, you know, move the medication through the body as well. But you do, you shower off at the end of the day, get all the pollen off of you, um, use your medications, and that'll often help people get by. And what I think some people don't understand is that there's a whole bunch, there's, there's molds. Um, people are allergic to molds. Street pollen comes at the early. So you kind of, that's mm -hmm. why, I mean, I went to an allergist like you and they were able to see what I was allergic to. So I had a warning because I think what a lot of people do is you take it. Oh, I'm starting to have symptoms. Well, it's kind of too late. <laughs> you know, not that it's right. too late, but you, sh you need to start a month ahead of time for me. Right. And mm -hmm. then I build it as a community so it doesn't, cause my eyes to itch out of my head. That's, that's right. Ideally, we counsel patients to start allergy medication a few weeks before their season. And if you do have allergy testing, you get a better idea of how to time medication throughout the year. Um, okay. People okay. don't understand allergies, do they? I mean, I think we got, there's a lot of old wives' tales about them. You know what I mean? That people don't. You know, my mom was allergic to her own bacteria. Right. She really There's some was. good stories like that. <laughs> she had to take shots throughout the entire year. This woman wow. Was bad mm -hmm. but, um, yeah. but there is easy ways to take care of that stuff too, if you know. And then right. We have a lot of good medications and these are preventative because the pollen not only causes nasal symptoms, eye symptoms, but for some patients can be very dangerous affecting their breathing with asthma symptoms. Oh, mm-hmm. That makes sense. Yeah. I know it's a big world of unknown for us, not for you. That's why I wanted to bring you on to explain some stuff and also that people know they can reach out to you guys with their questions because this is all new to me. And I didn't care before now that I have them, I care. <laughs> I know when you're suffering, you care. It's, it can be quite tough. <laughs> I know. I mean, poor my poor brother. I had no sympathy. Now I see what he went through. <laughs> yeah. When Kathy and I got married, she didn't have any allergies and she'd be like, what is wrong with you? And yeah. then she gets up and I'm going, and mine kind of dissipated. Mine are much less than hers. And now, um, probably because I'm so old, but um, it's funny <laughs> because I'm at her going, well, now I guess she understands. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. It's the best sympathy. Well, thank you so much, Melanie, for joining us between your patients today. And we can reach out to you. I'll put your website up there just to help people. Thank you. Over to contact you nice guys. to meet with you both. Have a great afternoon. All right. Thanks, thank Melanie. You. That was informative. I know she's great. I hope she. I hope we can catch them again. I know that yeah. a lot of people have questions. I'm not the only one who's super out of it with the allergy stuff. <laughs> and I think what people need to understand is there are ways. If you know to know, like for me, I I know what I'm allergic to, and I know right. so I know to stay away from it. And what seasons those come because I've done all the testing and stuff. And so okay. that, I think that's super helpful because then it's not just going. Well, what's this? You know, you kind of yeah. know. And you can, and you do really have to start, especially with grass. You've got to mm -hmm. start at least for me, it's a month. I got to start a month ahead of time. Yeah. Right. And you guys are just now getting, it's getting pretty bad there in Montana. Now you said, yeah, we're starting to feel that. So mm -hmm. it's, you know, stay inside more when you, if you get out you go out and mow the lawn, I might, yeah. I might Kathy and I do that. But when we get done, you come in, you strip off everything, you wash it, you yeah. take a shower, you clean everything. And then within an hour or so I'm, I'm 
back to normal. So oh, okay. If you okay. On there, that's just irritation waiting to get you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is like the worst I've ever had it this summer. So I'm learning as I go. So I'm going to reach out to them too. <laughs> All right. So the question again, Cam, for the okay. three. Oh, yes. It was, yeah, the three people that signed the Declaration of Independence, three presidents who signed that. What is a, an interesting fact about them? So, and I can even tell you how to word that. We can put that up there. Um, and it's, uh, well, that's all I'm going to say. I don't want to give it away. And you guys okay. can get three elements. So, since we're recording this up early for the doctor, um, can you send me the answer so I can watch it? Oh, yeah, sure. I better send you the answer. That's right. <laughs> all right. We'll see you next week. All right. Bye, guys. All right. I'm here at the park with my kids, but I just wanted to hop on and give you some encouragement and remind you after a long holiday weekend that we maybe indulged or didn't get our workouts in or just had a little too much fun, it's easy to feel guilty about those choices, but don't let it derail you, right? We always talk about healthy habits, making consistent lifestyle choices. So you do that every day so that when you have these long weekends that you indulge and have fun with your kids and your grandkids or your friends, you don't have to go away feeling guilty or derailed from your plan. Just get right back onto it. You got this. They want to see after 4th of July. And, uh, and that's why I get low comments and you know, Eugene Weekly and, and a lot of people bash on me. But I'm just uh, I support free speech and, and I don't care. I don't care what your view is. I think the most frustrating thing is that people get over uh, that people will hate other people just because of the political views. And I don't like I got to tell you, I was Democratic when I was going through college. I went to U of O. Um, and I still have certain like maybe like more environmental like leaning a little bit, but I don't know. It just we're so steadfast. We're either you have to be left or you have to be right. And we can't be we can't you can't be supposed to be friends with people that are on extreme left. That's what irritates me. And and also, I mean, it doesn't irritate me the negativity I get. I, I try to my staff will get messages and I don't want to listen to them. We get voice messages and emails and and you'll you'll have stuff, you know, you'll see and I. That irritates me, but. Trying to make what is very normal, more normal for the general population. Yeah, I think that's a great way to describe it. You know, Rick, is it the, the people that we work with are exactly that they're people. They, they're, you know, we, we, we talk a lot about the fact that they're not disabled, they're differently able. Uh, we have people that, that are artists. We have people that make music. You know, we have people that have all kinds of other things that are really when you when you spend the time to get to know them, they're warm, funny, wonderful people who they just want to do what the rest of us want to do, which is fu fully embrace and live their lives and be part of the larger community and, you know, and, and be out there and, and have a chance to engage and, and, and interact with folks and tell their stories and hear people's stories. So how many homes do you guys have? We have 16 group homes right now, uh, and then we have probably about another 30 or 40 people that we support. So if you're in the market for a new job or a new career, um, get a hold of Albert Taylor. Just go to albertaylor.com, go under jobs. Um, it'll definitely change your world and your life. If you're looking for a dentist, Dr. Bratlin is our man. Uh, he's very big on freedom, uh, people being able to express themselves, and he's a really fair kind of guy. Um, Sandy came on and she said, and I have heard this too, take a teaspoon of local honey every day, and that helps because the bees have that pollen. Now, it has to be local to your area, so you can't just go buy the little bear off the shelf and expect that's going to work. you got to buy local honey for the area that you live in, and then that, if you take that teaspoon every day, they say you will build up an immunity to that. Um, Jeff, you answered the question. It's not correct. Um, again, okay, guys, so this is three U.S. Presidents, residents. All three of them signed the Declaration of Independence. And then all three of them, they have one other thing in common. Um, so somebody guessed this and you win three, 30 days at Elements Health Clubs, any one of the three gyms for a month. And if you're already a member, you'll get one month for free. Um, and Melissa, thank you for what you do, Mark. Yeah, Mark is an amazing man at Albert Taylor. They really do take care of people. So somebody came on um, TikTok or something and was saying they heard we were going to have a Baker City on here tonight. Um, so I'm going to, this is something, Kathy and I used to do some work for Toyota. And um, Brian at Elements Health Club loves travel shows. So we try to, as much as we can, air uh, some of those old videos on the towns and things. So some things have changed, but not a whole lot. So here's a little five-minute video on um, 
Baker City, Oregon. John and Dee Dee Fisher, currently living in McCall, Idaho, but our heart is in Haines, Oregon. Hi, welcome to Baker County, Oregon. We're in Haines this morning. I'm Rick Dancer. I'm Kathy Dancer. And we want to thank our sponsors, Toyota and your Northwest Toyota dealers, and... Travel Baker County. So this is the real West, and uh, we're just lucky enough to be able to spend a little time here. Can you see by the dawn's early light? Haynes Rodeo. It's the uh, biggest little rodeo in America. We really enjoy the just the locals. We have a lot of really um, young and local cowboys starting out here. What do you love about it? Everything. The people, the environment, the rodeo itself and just doing it. The adrenaline is a lot of it, but I do it at home and I cowboy for a living. That's what we do. I'm thinking 80 or 90 years, but there was a hiatus in there for a while. So is this what rural Oregon's all about? From my definition, this is what what this is what rural Oregon's all about. It's uh, you know everybody that's down here that's helping on the rodeo floor in the arena. Uh, it's all volunteer help. They're all local people, and uh, you know they're a group of people that probably wouldn't come together for anything except the rodeo, because we're that's just what we do. And everybody comes out of the woodwork to help. Well, you know, there's a lot of beauty around the West. Uh, this happens to be one of the one of the nicer spots. The Elkhorn Mountains to the west. In the summer, they do mountain biking. So we got all these mountain bike trails that you can so see. So here's behind. a trail system they have going. And a... The Eagle Cap Wilderness to the east, a wilderness where you can't even drive in there. You got to go in on foot or on horse. Rural Oregon is so different from civilized Oregon. Nothing says Baker City like the Geyser Grand Hotel. And if you think back to uh, so many historic hotels and buildings that were built in 1889, like the Empress in Victoria, the Palace in San Francisco, the Tory fell in Paris. It was a time of great exuberance and grand design. And so this was really appropriate for its time and appropriate for this fabulous city, Baker City. Well, hello everybody. We are live in Baker County, Baker City, Oregon. <laughs> I'm Rick Dancer. And Kathy Dancer. And this is Exploring in the Backstories. So and, and we're standing right in front of Rick's absolutely favorite beer. So I'm really excited to meet you. You're kind of like, in my world, you're like a star. <laughs> <laughs> Eli, tell him your last name. Uh, I'm Eli Dickinson. So we are standing in front of the only gold dredge left in the state of Oregon. A gold dredge is a big piece of machinery that basically takes everything from the topsoil down to the bedrock and processes all the dirt and extracts all the gold out of the ground. But you've been using horse-drawn power for how long? Oh, about 1980, I think. You steer it with your feet so that you don't cultivate out any of your corn or potatoes or whatever. Well, a lot of them don't. A lot of people don't know what's here. <laughs> they, they don't. Uh, and, the, and the local people that, that are here, uh, for the first two years, I think everyone asked me, how in the hell did you find this place? You know, <laughs> How did you find us? You know, and, uh, Uh, it's a different mindset, it's a different religion, it's a different culture. Politics uh, are different. The east of Oregon is like the east of California. You can't hardly believe they're in the same state. The eastern 
it's very tough for me. I'm a rancher, and they they have a perception of what we are and what 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 we could be, but they don't have the bigger picture because they haven't seen it. My mommy used to say that there's a pendulum and things swing to extremes and then they come back to where they ought to be. I pray that's the case. Yeah, people friendly, people kind. Um, nice well, hometown. Welcome to rural Oregon. Yeah. Rural Oregon, you ruined us. <laughs> um, yeah, my mom is actually from that town, Haynes, Oregon. Um, and uh, that's just kind of what got Kathy and me thinking we had to get out. And um, we love Oregon. It's a great state. We love Eastern Oregon. But it's still under the rule of ridiculousness. And there's not much they can do about it right now. So you find the same thing in other parts of the country, in Montana, Idaho, um, Nevada, uh, these little places where people are just living their lives and minding their own business, but making sure that you're okay. And uh, it's a kind of a foreign concept you know, to the uh, more populous urban parts of the states. So uh, if you want to escape, and that's 4th of July every year in Haines. That's where they have that rodeo. And Baker City's open all summer long uh, and, and winter, and they're doing all kinds of cool stuff. Um, but God, I tell you, you know, just get out of town. Um, get past Bend, and you will find an entire new world. Burns, um, Harney County, French Glen, Lakeview, um, Pendleton. Um, what else? Oh, gosh. Um, the Dalles. Um, then get over to Baker and Elgin and Halfway and Joseph and Enterprise and Lostine. And if you really, really want to show you have some balls, go to Imnaha. It doesn't get any farther in Oregon than Imnaha. <laughs> and then you can come on over to Montana and see us, where it's really rural. Love living here. Kathy and I are loving what we're doing. Um, yeah, and we appreciate all of our sponsors uh, being with us. we got some great content coming up tomorrow. We're going to be talking to a group um, of folks these are former law enforcement and they're doing the they're from texas and they watch us and they're doing uh border patrol and they say what's going on down there is pretty scary and here's the interesting thing they're not patriots they're not right they're not left they're just people they're former law enforcement who see a problem and tomorrow night we're going to spend some time discussing that problem um and with them. And then on Thursday night, I got a guy who's with the old movement called State of Jefferson. Uh, this is prior to the Greater Idaho Movement. And these are people in Southern Oregon, Eastern Oregon, and Northern California who want to make their own state called the State of Jefferson. So I we've done a lot on Greater Idaho, and I want to find out a little bit more about this. So we're going to spend some time on Thursday talking about that. We're going to do a lot more of that kind of thing here on Rick Dancer, Get Real with Rick Dancers, taking long issues and talking about them because i think that's what you're looking for we'll still give you some short stuff and bill london will be here um, once a week uh, to give you your wrap-up of the news for the week but we're going to focus on uh, conversations and people interesting people and ideas so that's kind of where we're headed uh, for the future i hope you stick around and like it share this on your page because that really helps because facebook just docked me again last week because they said sometime in the last year I had content on that didn't meet their community standards. What are their standards? They don't tell you. So you don't know. So any day they can pull you. So if you want to not ever be pulled, join us on rickdancer.com. This airs live right now on rickdancer.com. You can just watch it there. and You don't have to be on Facebook or Instagram or any other things. We'll still be there, but you don't have to be on there. So that's where we're moving. We're going to move our audience all over to there so we can get the hell out of here. <laughs> all right. Have a good night, and we'll see you tomorrow. Um, join us. Tell your friends, because this is going to be in. It's going to piss some people off. But that's what we're all about, educating and pissing off. How it works. <laughs> <laughs>